Hey guys, Ryan here. Welcome back to Shadow of War. Now today we have some Gondorians that need our help, but before we get into that, there's something a little bit personal we need to deal with first. Now if you remember from the last episode, before we ended things, we encountered a showdown between three members of the Outlaw tribe and three captains that had already set up camp in Mordor. And Prem the Fanatical was the only survivor of that, and he also got one of the kills. One of the kills was on Og the Elder's blood brother, and Og who I recruited on that battle, and it was actually Crimp who killed Og's brother. So both of them, then it's time for them to uh, sell their differences with the help of Pug Blackblade in the middle. And now, I was planning on recruiting Crimp, but since he killed the blood brother of one of my guys, he's gonna have to go down. Me. You can try, but it ain't gonna get you very far. Oh, Crimp the Fanatical. You I mean you look like my guy the Dreamer anyway. Not Tommy Dreamer. But, uh. My guy who dreams of naked vat keepers. Oh no, you're. He's, he's bludgeoning the Blood Axe. We can't be having that now. He's broken! You know what? Oh, he's in rage again. I was going to kill me an orc, but now I get to kill me a man. To kill me a man. He has so many shield defenders. He's on low health. He's going down. He's going down. He's going down. And it's the blood axe who gets to feed. Nice one, Mug. I will fight to be Og, but we've dealt with the we've dealt with Crimp, and that's all that matters. Okay, you you are right now, Og, and we've we've dealt with the issue the best we can. Where are you going? Being your bodyguard's no fun. Slitting your throat. Now that sounds better. Why? Why? The blood axe. I made you a legendary as well. Oh, I've got like two legendaries now on my own. Let's see, how do you like burning? How do you like that the blood axe? If I recruit one of you, I don't care at this point which one it is. And, yeah, kill the, yeah. Waste it on the uh, the guy who runs away from battles. Well done, Talion. Enraged by injury. Of course you are. That did nothing. He did that. Now he's dazed, though. That's something. Come here. Come here a bit quicker. Oh, shit. Jeez, blood axe. Even I'm starting to get tired of this ranger. I don't even know what to say about that. And now he's the he's the overlord. Right, we're going to have a bit of an issue now. That the guy I want is now completely unaccessible for a long amount of time. I'm coming back for you, Mug. Nobody touches this stuff. Alright? This is our stuff. I think my guy might have something to say about that. The guards are just an ordinary meal. I want those supplies. They're a treat for dessert. Oryx cannibalize each other. I mean, I should have guessed it, honestly. emanates from this place. Ugh, I wonder if its source is the butchered corpses or the butchers themselves. I see how he likes poison. Don't get in there. Yeah, let's, let, next hit gets it. 
And he goes down to a spear shot by the looks of it. Don't know who threw that exactly, but a good shot from whoever it was. Something happened in Minas Morgul. Okay, like that was going to make any difference to me right now. Who threw that spear shot? Is that you? Good man. You know what happens? The grunt gets the kill, they get promoted. So I'll be seeing you again shortly, once you become a lot more powerful. Now if only my... if only the loyalty from uh, the Blood Axe was as true as that sunset. Now before... I will get to it, but before we get to the, the uh, Gondorians, there's something I need to do first. Is re reunite with my boy Gab. You know, he's, he knows a thing or two about betrayal, so I thought bringing him across to this land will help me eventually get the Blood Axe back on my side. I don't want to be feeding you to our beasties. Thunderbowls? Oh, I think we know where your problem comes from. Cut them down fast. Don't want to fight categories too. You're going to have to though, Gab. I'm sorry to say. So I've got to open kitty cages to get, you know, to get some more uh, well, things on my side. So how, how do you like flies? Does anyone like flies? Who's going to get flies? Someone going to get flies? Probably a grunt. Enra oh, he's oh, he's enraged by flies. Of course he is. And Gab's just enraged. Probably because he's freezing after being in the uh, the land of spring for the past couple of months. I'll have your head, you filthy worm. I say filthy worm, but that's probably what you're full of right about now. Well, at least you were. Now they have an, an area to come out of. Choke slam, all right, Kane. survived. How did you find me? Oh, it was easy. I just followed the trail of dead orcs. The Nedro. Did she escape Minas Ethel? We were ambushed. I lost her. Many of our brothers were captured. Some remain in hiding. Sauron's armies continue to hunt us. Nedro is resourceful. But no one survives in Mordor for long. We have a way out. I just need to find her, and whoever's left. Then we must find them all. Some of our soldiers were sighted in this encampment. Tread lightly. We must be careful. Tread lightly, there's one right here. Or he wouldn't mind. You saved us, Richard. Ah, but you're right. I might need a moment. You cannot delay. When you find Idril and escape to the west, have a second chance in life. I've already lived two lives. I was born somewhere near Umber. Herodrin. That is a long way from Minas Ethel. My order sent me to Gondor as a guarantee of peace. But the Herodrim had other enemies. I was to return, but by the time I was ten, we lost contact. I lived a good life in Minas Ethel. I was respected. I was happy. And then it fell. So now you commence your third life. The only life that matters is the one with Idril. I'm pretty sure she's not legal yet, Baron. We have to find her She's first. tiny, you know. She's literally like four foot. And that we will.
there's some ulterior motives going on here that I'm uh, I'm sensing. Oh, bye, Barona. The Uruks use our soldiers as bait. Those are the lucky ones. Have you managed to free many of your brothers? Not enough. Some weeks we lose as many as we rescue. Come on. I know nothing about you. Do you want to join? I add you to my ranks. I will destroy you. You'll destroy me. I'll destroy your mind. That was a close-up of an orc that I really didn't want to see. Suddenly, suddenly your boys are a lot less willing to fight now that he's gone. Let's free this last guy though. Almost. There we go. My family thanks you, Ranger. Your family point doesn't exist anymore, but I appreciate that. I'm in your deck. Captain Baronor. Karis. Are there any others? Idra. Do I know you? Alive. Are you relevant? Why are you we going to the fire pits for? She escaped. If I know Idriel, that's where she's headed. She's alive? She's alive. I have not dared hope. We will find her. There's definitely something going on here. Between these three. Misery of their sport. This kid's got a lot of health, jeez. Kitty, you can come to me. Welcome to Mordor! You! You kill my beasties! I kill you! Yes. He survived that, wow. At least I got a beast, you know. Hello. Hello, Idril. You're alive for now. I don't know if that's where it was meant to be. That's how it was meant to be going, but that's where it went. You take the guys down there. I'll take them up here. Seems fair. Seems fair. <laughs> I can you reach for your throat the moment I go to chop your head off. You can't even say you save yourself either. Oh, that's a close up and a half. Yes, Gidju, because you're really important there, weren't you? Do you not notice each other fighting the fight the past five minutes? Do you really not notice that either of you? Are you that blind? For you. And I, you. Come. I'll escort you to Hanathanun. Where? You'll be safe there. No. I'm not leaving Mordor. Not till all of our brothers are free. Come now. We will speak of this later. My father sacrificed all of Munis Ithil for my safety. I will not be protected any longer. Not by you. Not by anyone. He drew. You will die out here. Then that is my fate. But I'm staying. Go. Go. Reinforcements will be here soon. We will meet again. true warrior. She fears nothing anymore. Yes. That's the problem. Keep an eye on the Karagors. They haven't been properly trained yet. And whose fault's that? I 
have no idea how this is gonna end. <laughs> I need to send you a real things, people. <laughs> I haven't sent you anything for a while, so I thought it was about time. If you keep saying things like that. Hello, fire pit. Really? Oh, I've got the guy. I don't know why I didn't go off. Oh, let's open the kitty cages. I thought it was a good way to end with B-Ball. We lost the Blood Axe, but like, let's do something with the best dog. You haven't even noticed me yet, have you? Now you have. I shamed you last time. I shamed you. You didn't kill anything. You didn't think I killed part of your brain cells. Terrified? <laughs> Terrified of executions. And he fled. Gain the name the gutless. <laughs> Listen there, Hawk the Gutless. Go for me the vile to the gutless. That's quite the demotion. I'm not finished with it yet though. I don't know where you think you're going. You're not going anywhere. I can keep beating you. Can I pin your foot? Yes. Yeah. Come on, B-Ball. Get over here. Now you're going to let me finish him, okay. It can't be. It can't be. But it is. Well, that's new. Skirt shot to end things. That's some armor which I can't even benefit from. Well, things kind of went to plan, but not really, losing the Blood X, and uh, there's going to be some time so I can get him back again. So, if you enjoyed this episode of Shadow of War, please leave a like on this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell, if you any future videos, you can follow Twitter and Instagram, they're much appreciated, the link to the description down below. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time.